Madison, what's the crack? Thank you so much for joining us. I oh, know. Thank you for having me. No, you're so <laughs> welcome. That was an absolute pleasure to listen to you. I oh, know. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Do you know what? It's so refreshing to see someone come in with backing tracks, but backing tracks with originals. Mm. It's not something you normally see. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I know it's just a lot easier for me um, obviously being an independent artist to just have the backing tracks there instead of obviously having someone um, like play it for play you play for me yeah. so how did you get into like the backing tracks being original do you like produce those tracks or how do you go about that no I licensed them um, so it happened around in lockdown um, obviously I had no access to any musicians so I was wanting to write some new music and I just discovered like online that you could just license beats so I was like oh I'll see if I can write a song and then I, I just found it quite easy um, yeah. so say my type of genre that I like singing is soul music so I'll just type in like um, soul or 60s type beat and then see if I can write like a song from it and majority of the time I can so and is that like your inspirations for your music like that time period and yeah what other artists would you probably um so Amy Winehouse and Duffy that's because like their genre is like 60s you can hear that in yeah your, in your like writing and stuff for sure they're like the modern ones and then the Temptations they're like one of my favorite Aww. ever <laughs> in my Motown band so my mom loves the Temptations yeah, yeah. <laughs> She's got, good, she's got good taste. She does. Well, she, she had me. I had my suspicions at mind And act like I didn't know I didn't know Baby, if this is what love is Then I don't want it What did I do to believe all of those lies? Living peacefully for it to be ruined by a So guy. the writing process, mm -hmm. like when it comes to that, do you have a specific like routine when it comes to it or is it just go with the flow? No, it's just go, it goes with the flow. It's weird, like with lyrics, um, I could just be making a cup of tea and I could just get like a, a lyric and melody and I just be like, oh, I'll write that in my notes or voice note it. And then when it comes to when I license a beat, um, the melody, I'll just listen to it and then I'll hmm, hum like the melody yeah. and the lyrics will just, it'll just go they, with the flow and flow. then it kind of writes itself, it's weird. I get that. Do, like, is there any times where you, you haven't even got a track in your head but you're like I have an idea of how this is supposed to yeah. sound and mm. once you put it to the track it might be a wee bit different but it's like it yeah. leads you somewhere else mm. it's like the creation it's like what they say with like sculptures it's, it's in the clay you just yeah. have to like find it yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean it's proper proper cool mm. what's your favorite song that you've written um at the moment probably don't let me down I yeah. like that one. That's my fave. We're gonna we're gonna do a yeah. little version of that one together. Aren't <laughs> no, we, definitely. Hundred percent. I love remix. that one. But you actually have an EP of seven songs. Yeah, <laughs> crazy girl. <laughs> that should have been an album. Yeah, I know. It, um, it's because before, obviously, um, the pandemic, I wanted to release. It would have only been four tracks, and mm -hmm. then I started writing with beats. So that um, EP consists of like songs that are written like with a band and then songs that I'd written just with the beat and I thought I might as well just stick it all on one EP and do you have do you have a producer or do you do it all like yourself um yeah like a sound so, someone that I record with and then he obviously like mixes it and masters yeah, it yeah. but other than that kind of and did you know. just teach yourself how to do all this and go and find these songs and the licensing and yeah it's like it's kind of it's, it's not as hard as so like probably if some people think it probably is it's just I kind of because obviously I love music you kind of just got to find it your own way like no one else is gonna put it to you on a place and I'm yeah. like well I want to write music so there's gonna be a way you gotta put the research and in. then yeah it was weird I thought oh once it if like the what because I tried to learn how to play key like keyboard in lockdown and can you I bought 
our both the whole system both a home studio i've sold it all like the what the what like it happens, no it my happens. attention span is no i literally have a full studio and it's collecting dust yeah um i, I sold why. it all and then that put went towards me ep last year well at least mm. it went towards something good yeah. at least you're putting your money back into something yeah that's good <laughs> but so when you release your songs have you released any videos or is that something you maybe want to go into yeah so i have released the music video um it was for the first ever single last resort but i've put that on in private now because i just don't like it but what i do oh, is no no i just oh, i just didn't like have a look in it at least you um, haven't deleted it so you can go back and yeah, look at it one day yeah <laughs> when you're like 16 you go back and like oh look at me in my prime mm, no literally i no, i love um i love movies because he always says if it wasn't in um gone into music i would have went into film so i get all like my favorite clips and i uh, get them all off youtube and then i uh, go into like imovie and i uh, edit them all myself and put my song over there. That's so cute. <laughs> That's actually the cutest thing. That was actually I was one of my questions. If you yeah. didn't choose music as a career, what would you... Film, definitely. Yeah, like mm. on screen or behind the... No, behind it. Oh, no, oh, acting. Cool. No. no, no acting? <laughs> no. Like, you, you want to be like the producer? Yeah, She's like coming for your jobs, boys. You just better watch out. <laughs> probably not cameras, but... <laughs> I would do for like have a clip. And like, stuff. Yeah, probably it was just write like storytelling. Oh, and writing stuff. Stuff. that's mm. so cool. <laughs> that's amazing. Did you do like uh, college or anything for that? Like, did you go to? No, I did college for music, um, and then university for music. Um, yeah. Yeah. Did you feel like you gained anything from it? A bit, yeah, and no. See, probably yeah. like some vocal warm ups and that, <laughs> and then vocal met some musicians and <laughs> learned how to party. Yeah, learn how to party. How to be like a fun person. <laughs> like as you should be sensible in like your last year of uni. I was out all the time. See, like yeah, I mean I think not I, normal. I still might be. <laughs> last year, you know. No, I'm still like that now. My mum said you need to grow up. I'm like no. Never. My mum said the same. She said, you're going to that country to get an education and you're not coming home without one. <laughs> so I had to get my education. Don't let me down, baby. Don't let me down again. Um, I was going to ask you about some guilty pleasures mm -hmm. or like musical and popular opinions. Yeah, um... See, I don't really call it a guilty pleasure because I absolutely adore it. But because of the type of music I listen to, when I say I'm a massive Mariah Carey fan, they go. But I'm You're like, so no. When you yeah. listen to someone I'm from so the age of like, with, yeah. the age, since you were born, <laughs> I'm obsessed. Really with Miss Carey, she mm. she's the queen. No, I love her. I think she's just an amazing songwriter and singer. So. Also, she's just like the pinnacle of being a diva. No, she is. Like isn't she, she set the standard, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. Any like. Um, unpopular opinions like we've had some crazy ones unpopular opinion um my unpopular opinion probably is i'm not a fan of taylor swift <laughs> so many people say this you know saying i, I don't hate her. her no i don't but i don't I, I appreciate it as an artist yeah, see like him. obviously she's smashing it but it's just not we something. say this every time like swifties please don't come for me because the swifties are crazy yeah. but i'm just not a swiftie yeah don't get me wrong i've tried to listen you know you try your best and i'm mm. just like it's not happening like no is there any current artist right now that you're like oh into that chapel room when I say I'm obsessed I've with heard, that, yeah. like it's just an aesthetic, a songwriting, a vocals. Like, have you have you heard the cover of Dreams by the Cranberries? No, but that's something I would love to listen yeah, like to because I love the Cranberries. Flips and stuff. She is. I've no. I'm like real. taking notes. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> She's love amazing. That. Yeah, I like Sabrina her. Carpenter right now. I think she's good. I think she. Uh, yeah, she. Incorrect answer. She's mm, amazing. No, <laughs> Chapel Room. Like she is like. She's a she's, qu she's quirky. Vocal. She's different. She's different, but I just think like vocally and lyrically, she's just ten out of ten. I agree. I yeah. feel like you, you can absolutely. Where I think with Sabrina the Carpenter, I feel like she it looks more manufactured to me than with Chapel. Oh, one hundred percent. Like she's a she's mm. a produced pop star. Like she's not she's a ready made pop star. Yeah. Whereas I think like Chapel Rohn is she's very like original she's yeah huge. she's herself like, isn't she yeah mm. i like that though Same. do you i feel like you've got that style <laughs> and stuff but you were telling me before your mom's like a fashion designer yeah she's into fashion yeah so like obviously when i have like live gigs and stuff i'm like i want that making and then she'll she makes all your yeah. costumes oh, you've just got a team ready and then your sister does the content creating yeah she's got a ready-made team here amazing and any big gigs coming up 
Um, no, not at the moment, because I've um, recently just booked in to finish off the rest of my um, second EP, which is, Amazing. this is like a part, so my first EP was Red Room Part 1, and then um, the, my second one, Red Room Part 2. When's that coming out? Probably the end of October, Halloween time. Oh, <laughs> do you want to plug that to the cameras and let us all know yeah. where you can find your stuff? <laughs> yeah, Red Room Part 2, out end of October. All social platforms yeah, as well, yeah. Everywhere. What's your Insta? Get it on there, girl. Madison Lee UK. Please follow. <laughs> follow, absolutely, guys. Madison, thank you so much for coming in today. Oh, no, you were amazing to listen to and lovely to chat to as well. Oh, thank no. you. So thank much. you for having me. So welcome. It's been a pleasure. <laughs>